Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wednesday, May 26th, and it's 6.46 p.m. That's a lot of sixes. Anyway, we're going to get on with the news, and what I have to report is three more recalls. Well, anyway, we want you to stay safe. All right, this first one. All right, it's, uh, it's by... Asphalt and Rubber. <laughs> I guess that's the publication, Asphalt and Rubber. This is called uh, the recall. It says another rear brake hose recall for the Ducati Monster Line. Now, I know most of you probably don't own one of these. And I might not be saying this right, but just looks like a motorcycle. D-U-C-A-T-I. Ducati. I don't know how else you say that. All right. It says it was just last week that we saw Ducati North America recalling nearly 6,000 motorcycles from several of its lines, including the Monster lineup, for issues with their rear brake hoses. Hmm. A lot of these are like car recalls. You just take it to the dealer. Like when you got something wrong, they'll say leave it for an hour or two or we'll call you, whatever. They fixed the hose, but you got to do it or you'll have problems, right? All right, so um, I remember having to take a car in for a recall of something. But anyway, it was for issues with the rear brake hoses. And brakes, as you all know, are life-saving features. And now today we see another 1,312 monsters getting recalled for a similar issue, though there is likely overlap on the bikes affected between the two recalls. Hmm. Specifically, this recall concerns the fact that the rear brake hose may be susceptible to heat damage for a variety of different reasons. Sounds like a poorly designed bike to me. At any rate, you need to click on the link and check out all these numbers if you own a Ducati Monster Motorcycle. Okay? All right, moving on to the next one. This is from Food Safety News. Looks like frozen cut up chicken to me. Let's see. USDA posts public health alert for, yeah, that's right. I remember seeing that. 65 tons, 65 tons. A ton is 2,000 pounds. 65 tons of frozen chicken sent to food banks. What? This is by the news desk on May 25th. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service, or FSIS, has issued a public health alert for 130,860 pounds of frozen diced chicken products because of possible Listeria monocytogenes contamination. The products were distributed by Big Daddy Foods Incorporated, a Houston firm. They were also distributed to consumers at local food banks in Florida 
through the USDA Farmers to Families Food Box Program in individual food boxes. The problem was discovered during routine FSIS inspection activities when inspection personnel observed products indicated to be fully cooked requiring recooking because of possible listeria contamination had been repackaged without being recooked. A subsequent FSIS investigation determined other affected products had been further distributed in commerce. So, if you received any food boxes with diced, you know, cut up small cubes of frozen chicken, please click on the link and check these dates that will be on the bag. All right? Okay, on to the next one. IKEA recall. And this, this uh, publication is called self.com. My, my, aren't we full of ourself? <laughs> anyway, health. It's the health department. <laughs> the health division, whatever. 159,000 plates, bowls, and mugs recalled for potential burn risks. Never heard of such a thing. Two people required medical attention by Sarah Jacoby. Ikea. About 159,000 Ikea plates, bowls, and mugs were re recalled earlier this month because they may break and cause burns. The voluntary, uh, people must be sticking them in the microwave and they weren't made for that perhaps and it didn't say it. Let's read on and find out. The voluntary IKEA recall includes products from two colorful lines of dishware which were sold in the US and Canada. Specifically, the recall affects bowls, plates, and mugs from the heroist, heroisk, it looks like heroisk, heroisk, and Talrika lines, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission explains. Of those products, about 148,000 were sold in the U.S., while 11,400 were sold in Canada. The products included in the IKEA recall are made from a material called polylactic, oh, polylactic acid or polylactide. PLA, which can be made from renewable sources. But the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has received 123 reports of dishes breaking, which includes four reports of injuries, two of which required medical attention. Most of the injuries occurred when the bowls, plates, and mugs cracked and leaked while containing hot food, which then caused burns. In cooperation with the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, IKEA is announcing a voluntary recall of Hero Heroisk and Talrika bowls, plates, and mugs, the company said in a press release. The recalled products come with supplier number 23348, made in Taiwan, and 
P-L-A written on the bottom. Now, let me see if there's a picture. Oh, yeah, they're really colorful, solid, uh, hot pink, solid, like a butter yellow, solid uh, teal green, and a solid uh, real pretty blue, uh, ocean blue. I don't know what they'd call that. And that looks like navy blue and a light sage. Okay, so you can click on the link for this and see if this looks like anything you've bought lately. If so, you need to take it back to wherever you got it, lest you have an incident and burn yourself. Okay, we don't want that. So, I'm going to end it here and say, um, God bless each and every one of you, and um, I guess that's it. I'll be back when I have something to report. I do have some messages from the Lord. I just put them off, honestly, just because I was tired. Sometimes I just don't feel like it, but I decided I was going to get on here and make some videos. So I'm going to decide which one to do next. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.